Welcome back. Authorities say Ascension Parish man Edward Richmond was involved in the January 6th riots in the nation's capital. But a local case involving him could have national implications in the gun rights debate. Fox 44's investigative reporter John Rapolo speaks with Richmond's attorney and an LSU law professor. He has more. Edward Richmond's attorney cites two recent federal court rulings, one here in Baton Rouge, the other in Mississippi. Federal charges against two convicted felons charged with illegally possessing firearms were dismissed. Now, those two cases are now under appeal by the federal government. What effect could those rulings have on Richmond's gun charge? Well, take a look. January 6, 2021, the Capitol building is stormed and over 100 law enforcement officers are injured. According to federal prosecutors, Ascension Parish resident Edward Richmond is seen on video and still images assaulting officers with a metal baton. Richmond's lawyer is Baton Rouge defense attorney John McClendon. Well, I've been given a lot of evidence in that case and I'm still sifting through it. I think it's a tough case. McClendon thinks recent federal gun charges filed against Richmond could be a different outcome. Richmond is a convicted felon and was dishonorably discharged from the Army 20 years ago. He was convicted of killing an Iraqi citizen in 2003. After an assault rifle and ammunition were found in his home, he was also indicted for being a convicted felon in possession of a firearm. Under federal law, a convicted felon cannot own a gun. Yeah, it's one of the most interesting things I've ever seen in my practice. Why? McClendon cites two recent court rulings, one in Mississippi and one in Baton Rouge. The two cases that charged two convicted felons with possessing firearms were dismissed. Both are being appealed. Without these two new cases declaring that statute unconstitutional, it would be a very difficult case for me to defend. McClendon says at least one or both of those cases could end up in the Supreme Court to determine whether the law that takes away guns from convicted felons violates the Second Amendment. If it's declared unconstitutional, then Edward has not broken the law by possessing this firearm. We talked to LSU law professor Ken Levy, and he agrees. He thinks a federal appeals court will uphold those two court rulings. And they, my guess, based on precedent, is that they are likely to say that the prohibition on firearms for convicted felons is unconstitutional. Levy says recent Supreme Court rulings and six majority conservative court members are setting a precedent in cases involving the possession of firearms. It could ultimately impact Richmond's case. The court is on a trajectory to dramatically expand gun rights. Um, that is the object, that is their goal. So where does it all stand now? Edward Richmond is behind bars awaiting his trial in federal court on those January 6th Capitol riot charges. Now, according to federal authorities, Richmond is expected to be extradited back here to Baton Rouge to face the gun charges. In the studio, I'm John Rapolo. All right, if you have any story ideas, email investigate at brproud.com.